in order to create our use input action, we're going to use a similar approach with a dictionary. So let's go back to interactable items and we're going to create, this is going to be a private dictionary, so we'll put it down here, a dictionary not of strings, but in this case it's going to be the key is going to be a string and the response is going to be an action response. So you're going to give in a string key and you're going to get, get back out an action response. And this is going to be called use dictionary. And that's going to be equal to a new dictionary of strings and action responses. Then we need to populate it with the relevant strings and action responses. So we are going to add a new function which we'll put under get objects not in inventory and this is going to be a public function the returns void and it's going to be called add action responses to use dictionary and so this is going to get called whenever you take an item. So when you take an item, we need to update the use dictionary because now there are new items that you could potentially use. So we're going to call this from there. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to use a for loop to loop over nouns in inventory. And we're going to create a string variable called noun that's going to be equal to nouns in inventory i. Again, this is just to make the code easier to read. Now, we're going to go through all the nouns in our inventory and get their names. And now we want to get a scriptable object associated with that name, a script, an interactable object. So we're going to add a simple function to get objects from a master list of usable items. And so we need to add a list of all the usable items in our game to this class. And so this is going to be public. We're going to add these in the inspector. So this is going to be a public list of interactable objects called usable item list. I originally called it master item list, but usable item list is a better title. Uh, and then we are going to add a function which returns an interactable object called get interactable object from usable list. This takes a string, the noun, which is the noun of the object that we want to that we want to get, right? That we want to look up, and then again we're going to use a loop, and we're going to loop over usable item list dot count, and we're going to check if usable item list i dot noun equals the noun that we're looking for. Then we're going to return usable item list i and otherwise we're going to return null. Actually, let's return null out here just in case. Okay, so now we can call this from our add action responses to use dictionary. So what we're going to do is the following. We're looping over all the nouns in the inventory. Then we're going to add an interactable object called interactable object in inventory. And that's going to be equal to get interactable object from usable list, noun, right? So we're going to say, okay, get me the object from the list of all our usable objects based on the name. Then we're going to say, if that is null, we're going to break out of this iteration of the loop and continue. So we're going to say, okay, we don't need to do anything else. It's null. Keep going. Continue with the for loop, but just skip over this iteration because we're done here. If it's not null, we're going to go over it with another for loop. So this is going to be, the iterator is going to be called j, and j is going to be less than the 
interactable in inventory dot interactions dot length. So we're going to go over now the interactions. And let's just make a variable for our current interaction. And that's going to be equal to interactions j, right? Again, just making the code easier to read with that variable. We're going to say if interaction dot action response equals null, right? Meaning we found something that doesn't have an action response. Again, just continue. Continue looping, but with regard to this item, we're done. However, if that's not the case, I'm going to check if not use dictionary dot contains key noun, meaning we don't have this noun in the use dictionary already, and it's passed all our other tests, then use dictionary dot add the key is going to be the noun, and the value is going to be interaction dot action response. So we're building up a dictionary. The use dictionary is going to allow us to pass in a noun and get back out an action response, right? So we're going through all our items to check if they have nouns that respond to action responses, and then we're putting them in the use dictionary. Okay, now. We've built up a dictionary of action responses that we can access via string. This function is going to be called from our take function. So when an object is taken and goes into the inventory, it's now going to be available to use. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to call it from take, which is down here. So when we add it to the inventory, after we add the noun to the inventory, we will add, we'll rebuild the use dictionary. Save. All right. Now, the next step is going to be to write the use item function, which is going to be similar in structure to our take function. Okay. As somebody in the chat helpfully pointed out, I missed a, missed a semicolon there, typing too fast. Let's save that. Let's see. Did I make any other typing mistakes? No, that seems to compile. Okay. That seems to work. Thank you for pointing that out. Chat person, uh, Mihator. Thank you.